So if you're installing the integrated roof light bar system on a Bronco that's factory equipped with the auxiliary switches, you may or may not know that you cannot actually use the factory auxiliary wire provided by Ford in the right hand pillar. We offer this extended wiring adapter that gives you the appropriate gauged wiring needed to connect to your factory aux. We're going to show you how this connects to the light bar and then we're going to show you which wire under the hood to connect to. Let's get started. All right, so we're going to plug in our extended adapter. Now we have this white and yellow wire. This is going to be for our optional white and amber clearance lights. You'll see that you have matching wires on the light bar. So we're going to butt connect those together. All right, so we've got our light bar installed and we've got our cable looped over to the passenger side. To get this in, we're gonna go ahead and pull down this gasket. So we're gonna run our cable through this opening and we're just gonna pull it straight through behind this panel. We're just gonna continue on down the pillar. We're gonna tuck this cable in behind the panel. And we're gonna to get to a point here where we need to remove this panel. So we're gonna go ahead and just unclip this. Start from the bottom, release there, release the clip in the center, and the one at the top. Toss that to the side. All right, so we'll continue on down. The trick here is to just kind of maneuver the panel, pulling it out slightly when you need, just to allow to get that cable behind it. Now we're gonna pass the cable down through the kick panel, under the dash, into the footwell. We can put our panel back in now. Now we can go ahead and put our door gasket back on, make sure that that's all tucked nicely into place where it was. Next, we're gonna feed this cable across the dash and then out the firewall on the driver's side. Pull all the slack out. All right, now that we've got the cable across, we're gonna go ahead and pass it through the firewall. We've got a grommet here that we've already ran some cables through. So we're gonna go ahead and push through it. All right, so we've got our wiring through the firewall. Uh, first thing we're gonna do is connect our ground. You can connect this ground to any chassis ground. We're gonna use the negative battery post. In order to get enough cable to do that, we're gonna go ahead and split this black jacket. I'm doing that with a razor blade. We're just gonna pull that apart to give us some distance between the red and black wires. Get enough there. Cut off the excess. So we've got our black wire. We're gonna strip a little bit off of the tip. We're gonna take a ring terminal, crimp that onto the end of the black wire. So we're gonna grab our Bronco tool kit from the glove box. We're gonna get our socket wrench and 10 millimeter socket. Gonna undo the 10 millimeter bolt here on the negative battery cable. We're gonna slip on our black wire with the ring terminal and put the nut back on. All right, so for our red wire, we need to connect this to one of our higher amperage switch lines. We're gonna use the yellow wire, that's for switch one. Clip off that end of the red wire. We're gonna clip off the heat shrink end of the yellow wire. We're gonna use a blue butt connector and crimp that to the red wire. Then we're gonna crimp the other end to the yellow wire, again, that's for switch one. All right, that takes care of the main light bar. As for the white and yellow wires, these are for the optional clearance lights. We have white for white and yellow for amber. You can connect these to another one of your aux switches. You can connect this to park light, DRL, however you wanna run this, it's up to you. So for more info on this product and others, check out www.oraclelights.com. Hit us up on our socials.